Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We, we are Tuesday, December 27th, 2022. I'm here to do a collective read for you guys, okay? Remember, it's a timeless read. Uh, I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders. It's all energy anyways, okay? So if this is your read, you'll know from the description of the characters and the storyline, okay? Take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make it fit. Remember, it is a general read. It's it, Not every read's gonna be for you, okay? I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head. No other reason. If some of it doesn't make sense, it just means that belongs to someone else. So just leave that alone. Don't try to make it fit. If none of it resonates, then it's just not your story, okay? Please help yourself. Look back. Go back and, and scroll through other reads uh, that I've posted in the past because they are timeless. If the title jumps out at you, chances are there's something in it for you, okay? Um... I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the card as they come out. I'll give you what I'm picking up intuitively as well. As well. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some or one, and then we bring it together at the end, all right? Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm truly grateful you guys are here with me. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great time. Um, I know some, some are back to work, you know, the, the week in between Christmas and New Year's. Some are still at home. <laughs> I uh, just hope you guys are having a great time. It's getting warmer over here, okay? I just came in from outdoors. Still a bit chilly, but it's not as cold. I know, it sounds crazy, right? I was uh, thinking that yesterday because it's, it's starting to warm up a bit. It was minus 12, and I'm thinking, gee, it's warmer than it was yesterday. And I'm going, wow, that's, that sounds crazy. <laughs> but when you live in a climate such as this, yeah, it's not that crazy. You really feel the difference, though. Let's start to read, shall we? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light. How are we to begin with the read for the collective, please? What's the opening card? I don't want them to know. Almost, almost. Somebody might be hesitant. I mean, these cards are hesitating. What's the opener? Thank you. High Priestess of Spirit. Card number seven. That's the chariot in tarot. So, mm, it could be awareness, practical acceptance, Taking control of a situation. It could be universally driven, okay? Because even though you're in the driver's seat, a lot of tarot cards will show no reins. So that means the universe is involved. It is also a victory card. Bottom of the deck, there was deceit here, 38. So 3 and 8, that's 11. That's um, justice and tarot. You're getting some justice, which is good. Let's see. Let's see. Number 7. What's it say? Uh, know that all things, events, and experiences are woven together like a magical web that can be seen only in the darkest night and not by human eyes. My child, everything that you need to know is part of the divine scheme of things. A meaningful coincidence, a blessed friendship, a lover, and a significant experience are all orchestrated by me to help you become the powerful being you were meant to become. No matter what is in front of you, something important is brewing. You will know the answer to the what soon enough, but I keep secret the why. You may step forward knowing that some things are meant to remain a mystery. So you've chosen the symbol to help guide you on this journey to find an answer to your question. Consider that there is an invisible spirit within all living things. You might not know, the. you'll soon find out the what, maybe not the why behind it. There, I mean, there's different layers, right? It's hard to understand, but um, yeah, help is at hand. You're, you will be getting your justice for something. Maybe you don't see it coming. Maybe you're, you're, you know, you're feeling like, oh, it's been so long, or I'm up against a giant. It could be against the courts. It could be against the um, authorities of some sort, or against I don't know, a system of some sort. But things are changing here. Why is this here, please? Add some more clarity to the High Priestess of Spirit, please, Spirit Guides. Thank you. Queen of my world, she keeps popping up. 24. Mm. So that's lovers in tarot. They're, this could be a contract that you're dealing with. If not, it's a choice. A decision needs to be made. It could be a choice of two people. It could be you using your higher wisdom. Maybe you're finally tapping into that, you know? Everybody has the gift of discernment, the gift of intuition. It takes practice, though. You need to know that um, that needs to be worked on every each and every day, okay? It's, it's like a muscle. You need to develop it, right? So maybe that's what you're doing right now. Again, six, alone in the world. You might feel alone in the world. 
but that's just the outward appearance, okay, or the inward appearance. Maybe you could be surrounded by people and still feel alone, right? You just haven't found your tribe yet. Um, let's see where this goes. Maybe that's, you feel alone. You feel like you don't fit in. Um, it could be, you know, a way of life. It could be a religion. It could be, I don't know, a work. Let's see. Why is this here, please? High Priestess of Spirit. Queen of my world. Why is this here? Another clarifier that you, you know, they gave me to. The Dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out. Things coming to light. Adapt. Change and heal. Wow. Again, things finding out. You're going to be finding out some stuff here. Maybe you didn't see it coming. Maybe somebody's got addictions here. I'm going to put that back in. Codependent obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. Maybe you feel restrained. I'm going to put that back in. I'm um, not picking that up. Bottom of the deck, date. Meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan, set a date. Maybe you're feeling quite lonely. You don't think you'll ever find love again. Maybe that's the point. I don't know. Maybe you're going to find out somebody does like you, <laughs> is interested. I don't know. Remember, uh, we always think we project how we feel right um if you feel unattractive or uninspiring or not good enough that's how you feel maybe it's not certainly not how others are looking at you okay you really don't know how others are looking at you they could be just gaga over you and you wouldn't even know it right so you have to stop number one stop putting yourself down stop thinking illy of yourself we're all valuable okay we all, all have worth and value here. And there's always somebody out there for everyone. Trust. Trust and believe that, okay? And you, we are meant to meet our partners. Sometimes we miss the cue in a lifetime and we have to come back and do it. But that's, that's part of learning, right? We have to develop that muscle, that intuition, that inner knowing. So let's see where we're going with this. The High, spirit, uh, the high Priestess of Spirit... The queen of my world and dragonfly. Why is this here, please? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light. Why is this here? What's the message, please? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. We have the moon here. It could be some secrets, some lies, some fear, maybe. Forces working in the background, good or bad. <laughs> Chalices, uh, the three cups in reverse. So the overarching energy is that you parted ways with somebody. You're not happy, possibly. Yeah, so in a parting of ways, maybe it's friends, maybe it's love. I don't know. Bottom of the deck, six of pentacles. Yeah, somebody was giving and receiving with others. They were prioritizing others. You need to bring balance back into your world, maybe. Maybe you were giving too much of yourself. You see that she's giving the beggar some money. You see that little gnome on his shoulder. It's kind of like angels or an angel and a demon on either side, I think. That's what I'm picking up right now. Um, she gives so much of herself. I say she, it could be he, but I'm just saying, right? Maybe you gave so much of yourself in a relationship and all you got back was lies. Maybe they're not talking to you right now. And you, maybe you, you, you receive no clarity okay about a situation you're not happy whatever this is could be some drinking going on losing friends or not trusting your friends anymore three cups in reverse why is this here where are we going with this please thank you yeah they were juggling two of pentacles in the upright i'm sorry you've gone through that it does hurt it really does and it does shake up your confidence but i want you to know don't let it shake your confidence there's nothing wrong with you there was nothing wrong with you in trusting and in believing and loving somebody and giving your all to someone. Okay, that there's nothing wrong with you. Don't take on the shame that other people should be carrying. There's something wrong with them for doing that to you. Okay? Yeah, there were a lot of lies and secrets here. Moon in the upright. You were up at night, not eating, not sleeping, just worried, just frantic. Like, why, why, why? Been there, done that, okay? Vulture, they preyed on you, okay? They maybe picked you clean, money, time, energy, love. Damn, I'm sorry you went through that. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Watch the two of pentacles here in the upright. The moon in the upright, please. Could be fear as well. 
course it's scary. Those feelings are scary, right? Uh, this is a tower, okay? Maybe you're scared to be alone. Maybe you've been with somebody for so long. I don't know. Trying to avoid um, a tower moment. This is a, a, a partnership here, okay? Two of Cups. It's a soulmate. They're letting, you're letting them go or they're letting you go. Eight of Swords in reverse. So this could be financial ruin as well because maybe you have your finances tied together. It's a big change, okay? I know. Maybe this person was with you for the finances. Why is the moon here in the upright? The tower in the reverse, please. But this is the universe bringing this about. I want you to know the tower in the reverse, it is not necessarily financial ruin for you, okay? What it means is it's it's not to be revisited again. This was all built on a false foundation, okay? This was wrong. Whatever this was, the universe does not agree with it. So they are bringing it down again, never to be repeated in your life, okay? So whomever harmed you, hurt you, they'll never be able to do it again to you or, or anyone else, okay? This is, it's a shift, okay? This is a big shift in your life, yeah. You will get through this, okay? That's where, when we're at our lowest, that's when we find our strength. I hate to say it, but it is true. You're going to find who you really are, what you want, what you don't want. It's a, it's a freeing experience. At first, it's scary as fuck. I've been there, done that a few times, okay? Because I'm stubborn. The universe had to do it a few times in my world. You know what I'm saying? But it's stuck eventually. <laughs> Tower in reverse. Why are we here, please? Why is the tower here? Maybe this, yeah. Mm, you found out the truth. You're going to be speaking your truth. High priestess in reverse. Someone didn't use their intuition. They, they lacked awareness. If it's you or them, I don't know. Take it as applies. They could have been doing some shit talking. Yeah, you know, some shit talking. Maybe you got some poor counsel if you're de dealing with lawyers. Somebody didn't give you some... They gave a poor advice. I don't know. I keep focusing on certain organizations that say religious belief systems. And, you know, you have marital problems and the belief system or the head of that belief system will tell you to stick it out. You know, your husband, wife, whatever, stick it out, do, do. Do what's best for the family. But you know what I mean, right? Instead of do what's best for you. So maybe you got some poor counsel here. Yeah, you got some poor counsel. Stay together here. Heal. Reconcile, right? It's not going to work. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm telling you, I, I, I was picking that up, okay? You got some poor counsel. Go back. Heal. It's just a blip in, in you know, the, the matrix type of thing. Things will get back to normal. Balance things out, and it's not going to work. Or your partner didn't even put the effort in. Maybe maybe it's therapy. You went to marriage counseling or something. I don't know. It's not going to work out. Yeah, you're, you're deciding to put these, these burdens down. You're making a conscious decision. Ten of wands in reverse. You got to do what's good for you, okay? Because you can't pour from an empty cup. You got to love yourself first, right? Instead of giving to everyone else, right? It's over. It's, it's it's past this expiration date, let's say, okay? It's a profound ending in your life. Granted, it is, yes. It's a profound ending. You feel it. I mean, if you've been with somebody for a very long time, but there's only so much a person can take, okay? When you've lost all hope, when you're not happy day after day after day, and it's always the same, it's a groundhog day re repeating itself, nobody's giving you what you deserve, you're always the last one to receive anything, whether it's a hug, a kind word, okay? You know what I'm saying, right? It's time to let it go, ten of wands and reverse. I'm not telling you to do this, I'm, the cards are, okay? I cannot tell you what to do. You have the answers within each and every one of you. Ten of Wands in reverse. Why is this here, please? It's an ending of a cycle. Yeah, you're moving on. Six of Swords. You're... Six of Swords in the upright also means that you're listening to yourself, your higher wisdom, and you're also listening to spirit. Spirit is plucking you out of rough waters and they're bringing you into calm waters, okay? You're moving on to a better place. See that fairy? She's leading this one away. She's happy. She's looking like, I'm free. You know, prison break. <laughs> Good for you. 
You know, it, they left you out in the cold. They didn't give you what you needed, Five of Pentacles. Look at that smile on this girl's face. She's happy. You went without for so long. Maybe you didn't have the confidence to do it in the past, but now you do. Yeah, now you do. Maybe you're the breadwinner. Maybe you're the everything in this household. Okay, and now that you're going, you're leaving somebody out in the cold. Well, that is not your problem. Okay, they have to find their own way in this world. We, believe it or not, each and every one of us, once we hit adulthood, okay? And it's sad that children are left to have to do this a little early in life, right? They grow up too fast, but each and every one of us are equipped. We have it within us to make it on our own without having to rely on anyone for our survival. No codependency, okay? Maybe uh, you were going through that. Maybe you were codependent thinking you couldn't do it without this person. You can. Why is the Six of Swords here, please? Thank you. Yeah, you're turning your back on this, okay? Three of Wands. You are preparing and or you're prepared. Maybe something's coming in the mail telling you maybe you got a job elsewhere, you know, far away. Three of Wands. That's also travel. Your ships are coming in. You're expanding your horizons, okay? You're... You're uh, mapping out your future now. It's exciting. I can feel it now. Damn. Maybe you're in, in a new place right now. You just got out of the shower. You're sitting by the fire, sipping a hot cup of cocoa, tea, coffee, and you're quite satisfied. You're so happy. Look at that. This is my own home. In my, I'm sitting in peace. Yeah. And somebody's jealous, right? Queen of Wands in reverse. They're jealous. Maybe you were with somebody that was violent, uh, forceful, and you're thinking back at that. Cause she's looking back, thinking back of what you went through, okay? The hardships, and you are so at peace right here. I can feel it. Three of Wands in the upright. Yeah, I know the lies. You're not talking to these people anymore. One of so uh, The Ace of Swords here. They lied to you. It's just, you're not talking to these people. Yeah. You took back your power. King of Wands, male or female. It's somebody that's in a leadership position, okay? They defend the the underdog. Defend and protect. This is an innovator. This is somebody that's fierce and powerful and and noble. You know? they. You normally see these types of people in fighting for noble causes. They have their heart in the right places and they're fierce and they're bold. They take calculated risks. They know what they're doing. They tend to know what they're doing before they do it, right? It's not knee-jerk. They're very passionate. They're charming. They're alluring. Oh, boy. I was going to say maybe this is you. Could very well be. But somebody's coming in with a cup of love. Damn. Damn. That's a knight of cups coming in. It doesn't have to be love right away it could also be support a lot of support after all this time this is somebody that has integrity loyalty and honesty another night knight of pentacles right maybe it's been a long time since you dated you're unsure of what to do what you want in life maybe you haven't maybe somebody from your past you haven't spoken to in a long time i know i'm not saying a past lover it could be somebody you've known but they're coming in to support you Maybe this is you and you have a lot of gifts to share with the world. Maybe you were in an, uh, an abusive relationship and you're thinking back, you know what? Now that I've healed and I'm healing, maybe I can be a leader. Maybe I can fight for the underdog, protect and defend these people. I have gifts. I can protect them, offer them fealty, right? Knight of Cups in the upright. Yeah. Somebody's offering you support. They are offering support. Maybe right now, financially, or maybe you're offering support. Maybe right now. Let's see. It's good news. Maybe you're unstable right now at the moment, financially. You're not quite. Oh, I see. I see. Maybe somebody wants to come in and, and, and offer you a cup of love, but you're not quite divorced yet. This is good news for you, though. This is good news. They're going to be communicating. Uh, maybe somebody online. Okay? Maybe somebody you met online. There's competition here. <laughs> maybe this is your ex feeling a little jealous here and wanting to fight. They're very conflicted. 
Yeah, maybe this is your ex. Maybe they're coming in to want to smooth talk you here because they're out of money. This is hopeful, wishful thinking. They're deluded here, okay? They lost. They caused a lot of confusion in your world. But I'm feeling that there's somebody else here that you, you're you talking to. Maybe you've known in the past. I don't know. Take it as applies. That um, wants to come in, give you a cup of love, but it's going to be slow at first. And I think that's what you need, especially after a past like that. You need to trust. But also, I'm also getting this person is maybe unstable. Your past person wanting you back. They're deluded. They're out of money. Uh, they're unstable, very insecure, codependent, clingy, okay? They don't want you being single. I think they're, I get the feeling that they're controlling. This is hopeful, wishful thinking, because you were every woman and or man to this person. You, you filled all these different roles. That or they had multiple options in the past. No, you filled multiple. All, you made a decision, okay? That was best for you. Yeah, this is success. Now they want you back because you're all these people, all these different people wrapped in, up into one. This is um, victory, success, rewards, recognition. Or it could be somebody that's coming in. You're not quite single yet, or maybe they're not. Uh, maybe this person's out in the public eye. <laughs> you're talking to them. It's hopeful, wishful thinking. You're making a decision. It's going to heal your heart. Three of Swords. It's a blessing in disguise. What you went through. You had to go through. I don't see the Wheel of Fortune yet. But I'm, I'm, I am I'm. I would wager to say it will come out. You had to go through this. Okay, it's destiny. You had to go through this in order to bring you where you need to be. Yeah, I think you're going to meet somebody out in the public eye. It's a leadership position. Could be a politician. Could be somebody, a leader in your community. That you're going to be working with somebody that's uh, in the public eye. Yeah, it's bringing the change here. Wow, this, this change is coming in. Not a sword. It's coming in quick. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> so I think your ex here, because you've changed. You have changed. Maybe it's you out in the public eye. You've changed so quickly. I think your ex is coming and wanting to talk to you really quickly. They feel betrayed. Okay, so it's a harsh, painful ending for them. Because look at you. You have a new beginning. Page of Cups. Beautiful. You're st you're standing your ground. Seven of Wands. Damn. Yeah. After all this time, you're standing your ground, and they're unstable. They're jealous. Well, your your ex keeps wanting to pop into this read. Okay. His his or her energy. I want to see where you're going. And, this, and your ex keeps yeah. You're going towards wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups in the upright. This is satisfaction. This is success and um, achievement. You're going to be celebrated here. It's beautiful. They don't want that. They're feeling some kind of way. They were, they're full of, um, they're all over the place. They're scattered. Yeah. They don't want the four of wands. They don't want this parting away. They don't want to lose you. Right? Because they're losing their stability, maybe. No, well, they were reckless. Get out of the read, please, X. Let's see where this person's going. I don't want this X in the read anymore. Yeah. Yeah, you you overcame quite a lot. Not a once. You you persevered. You've overcame. You blocked them. Okay, nine nine. If this resonates with you, yeah, you're protected. You're holding back. You don't talk to them. Yeah, they, they want to come back to you. You you blocked them. You, you, <laughs> they want to try to control you. They don't want to move on. Well, I'm sorry. That's the way it goes. They're using emotions here. They're emotionally mani manipulative. Okay. They keep wanting to pop into this reading. Let's move on, please, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Yeah, they're bad news. Yeah, they're playing games here. They're trying to sabotage you. You put your blocks up, okay? Block them up. They want to try to sabotage you. They're full of lies and bullshit here. Yeah, it's not going to work, okay? They're out of money. Page pentacles. They don't want to put the work in. They're lazy and disrespectful. Whatever they're trying, it's not going to work, okay? They want to talk to you, eight of wands. It's not going to work. Why is the page of swords here in the reverse? Let's get this energy out. Yeah, they yeah. That's why you parted ways. You don't trust this person. Two of cups in reverse. Come on. Yeah. End of the road. Seven of Pentacles. End of the road. They get what they give, right? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They didn't invest in you. It was a poor investment for you. You're not going back. Yeah. No reconciliation. Six of cups in reverse. 
right? There was no love here. They were cruel. They were heartless. No growth. They didn't want to grow with you. Well, yeah, they had addictions, obsessions. They were codependent. Yeah. Could have had another lover. Okay, X leave. Let's see where this person's going. Please, spirit guides, guardian angels, and that's with white light. Yeah, they, they brought in competition here. A lot of conflict and fighting with a group of people. It could be family, it could be anybody. You put it behind you. Five of swords reverse. There you go. All right. You ended it. False contract. Three of pentacles reverse. They didn't put the work in. Yeah. They got caught doing what they were doing. They don't want you moving on. Right? They're trying to... Do, maybe they're... I don't know. They're, they're going through it. Why? Why? Why does this ex have to come in? Let's let's leave him on. Let's leave him go. Let him go. They don't want you moving forward. Seven of swords in reverse. They got caught doing what they were doing. They're going to admit the truth here. Why is this happening? Nine of swords. Right? This is a nightmare for them. Good, good, good. You don't care anymore. Maybe you're in a new relationship. Maybe they see that you're possibly going in a new relationship. And they're going crazy right now. Please, can we get rid of this ex spirit? Please, I know, I know. I can't control what the spirit wants to talk about. So, yeah, they want to stop you. That's not going anywhere. Lacking awareness. They're out of control. Yeah, they're losing money. They missed their opportunity with you. They're stuck in their head. They're bound. Maybe that's how they made you feel stuck in this relationship. You couldn't breathe. You couldn't do anything, right? Yeah, they were they were selfish. King of Pentacles in reverse. They were selfish. They were greedy. They were um, unstable. They lied all the time, right? Abuse. Very abusive. The truth is out. You know the truth. Yeah, and you gave them a lot of unconditional love here. Queen of Cups in the upright. You were emotionally well-balanced, emotionally mature. You were the mature one, right? But you're also psychic and intuitive, and you're not going back to that bullshit. Yep, Wheel of Fortune, I told you it was coming out. Um, there's a change of direction, right? They want to go back. No, 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 no. They can't go back to you. They're getting some karma right now. They're hurting. They are, okay? For everything we do in life, if you mistreat somebody, it's going to come back to you in one way or another, okay? And that's everyone. No one's immune, right? It's family discord. They're losing money. They want to come back, blah, blah, blah. No, I think you're standing your ground. Now let's move on. Can we move on, please? This is, uh, you're moving on. You're ending past cycles. Maybe you're not just ending it with your ex, but with their family, their friends, anybody that's mutual. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just have to do that to move on. I had to do that with various uh, relationships that I had because, well, it wasn't healthy. And those people supported the person hurt, hurting me or using me. So those people shouldn't be in my life either. And I'm saying that obviously because maybe you need to hear it. Yeah, Queen of Swords, you spoke your truth. You, you set boundaries, really, really strong boundaries. You cut them out and you're that's that's it. You're moving on. It looks like this person's either applying for a job and or uh, an apartment, a mortgage. Look very happy here. You're doing things for yourself. You're very independent here. Congratulations. Yep. They wanted you stuck, right? They're not evolved. They're not, they're unhealed, okay? They wasted your time, so you're not going back there. See how your ex wants to keep popping in? This is good news. Yeah, this is, you stood your ground. This is news. Good news. Yeah, good news. You're healing your heart, okay? Three of swords in reverse. It was a blessing in disguise you went through this, okay? Because this is, you're finally feeling yourself. You're finally going where you need to go. You know where you need to go. Congratulations. I'm feeling it. I am. This ex keeps wanting to pop in here. See, King of Swords. You're dealing with a narcissist. They don't want to let you go. See, that's why the, the snark keeps popping in here. Okay? They don't get it. They don't have the same thought processes we have. The emotions. They learn the emotions. They don't feel them. Okay? They want what they want. How dare you leave them? They leave you. You don't leave them. Once you leave them, they, they can... Duck to smear campaign, a lot of lies, secrets, deception, they're two-faced, right? Yeah. Trying to slow you down, the ace of wands, you need that. They want to delay and or stop you. They can't. Where, how are we ending this read, please, spirit? Yeah, you're stable and secure. Good news, maybe you're buying a home or you're getting a, a, a rental. You're stable, or it could be a business, you're opening a business. Congratulations. 
This person's going nuts here. Fool in reverse. They're acting like a fool. Wonderful. Or it's just you're going to a gathering here. You're meeting some new friends. Maybe that new person you're going to meet. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, somebody out in the public eye or you are. Okay. How's this going to end for the collective, please? Please get this really annoying ex out of the rage. Uh, somebody had no integrity, loyalty, or honesty. They lost control of you. They could be raging right now. Their their ego's bruised. Their pride is, 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 is hurt. They're feeling scared. They're unstable right here. But you consciously know this. You have a direct connection with Source, okay? You're manifesting your new life. You're happy. You have everything you need for success. That's what's making this person scared. Oh, well. Where are we going? Can, can, leave the X out, please, Spirit. Damn, yeah. Three of Pentacles. You could be working with other people. Um, they could be watching you work. You have skills, whatever this is. Maybe you're going to be working with others. This could be a job, a new job coming in, a new collaboration. It's going to help you heal. Maybe you're going to help heal people. Okay, three of swords in reverse. It's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, this is a, you could be a therapist, a teacher, a hierophant. You could be working in the courts as a contract. You're going to be collaborating with others. Congratulations. Yep, learning. You could be going back to school. Congratulations. This is a new beginning. Starting off small. Yep. Gathering information. Good for you. Two more and then we'll call it a day. I'm telling you, this ex keeps wanting to pop up in here. He's, he or she is scared here. Okay, they're raging. Please be careful. Don't go back. Don't talk to them. Don't allow them in. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're unstable. I can't make this up. Okay, they're raging. They're finding out. I think they're finding out here. This could also be gathering information or they could be watching tarot to see what you're up to. That's another way that these narcissists spy on you by watching tarot. I hate to say it. I mean, I don't want to stop people from watching tarot, but yeah, eight of cups. Yeah. You walked away from this. You're, you know what? You walked away where you were. There was no emotional fulfillment or happiness here. You, you, you were, you're facing the unknown. You typically in most cards, maybe I'll show you if I can, if I can find it quick. The eight of cups. Okay. Please help me find this fast. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. Cause in the eight of cups and a lot of decks, what you'll see is the person walking away. Right. And there's a moon there. Come on. Somebody was asking me if I wanted to, if I ever considered teaching tarot. I've never really considered it because everybody has their own style and their own way of doing it. It's hard to teach. It's, 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 it's primarily what feels good to you. You have to feel it. But I just want to show you, you have to see the story behind it. You have to see what you see. Everybody sees differently, right? Um, come on. Of course, it's like the other day. I was looking for something with my son. It was at the last place I looked, right? So the Eight of Cups, this person, see that moon? You will always see a moon. In, the, in this deck, you don't see it. But you're walking towards the unknown. But this person's looking up. You see that head's kind of tilted to the left, looking up the moon? That's listening to your intuition. You walked away listening to your intuition. Okay? Maybe they're looking at tarot, reading, wanting to see, maybe you are a tarot reader, a teacher or something. I don't know. It's quite possible. Yeah. So you, you uh, predominantly you're listening to your intuition. You walked away with your head held high. You have no, res uh, no regrets here. Okay. You did your best in wherever you were before. You're studying here. I'm telling you, you're going back to school. You're learning something new. Gathering acorns, right? Gathering information. One more and then we'll call it a, um, a day. Please spare for this read anyways. I might do it a couple more. I don't know. Let's see how we feel. Stars in reverse. Somebody's losing hope. Maybe you walked away. When you walked away, you didn't have much hope for yourself, right? Didn't have much faith. I think you found your faith. I think, yeah, this is just a... You found your faith. You found your hope. You found you. Congratulations. 
you broke through this toxicity. Maybe it's a belief system. I don't know. Maybe it is a religion, right? You didn't have faith in whatever it was they were trying to teach you or keep you bound by. Because some religions, I hate to say it, and I'm listen. I'm it's no judgment. I I'm just I'm nobody. Okay, I know certain religions or they don't treat women properly. Okay. And it's not fair. It's, it's it's meant to keep them prisoners. And it's not just one religion. It's, it's others' religions. Okay, it's just organized. That's man-made. In my book, this is my opinion. You don't you don't have to believe me. You don't have to agree with me. And please be kind. Okay, you don't have to attack me for it. It's my belief system. I believe that certain religions, organized religions, are made to to keep people in control. Let's say. Okay, because spirituality, and that's what where I come from. Um, and trust me, I was uh, I was a Roman Catholic as a child, right? That's what I was brought up with. But to me, there's truth in everything, not everything, but truth in every belief system. But yet, there are many, many lies, right? Because people got involved. They redacted things. They included things to suit them. You know what I'm saying, right? They changed things throughout the the years. You have to remember a lot of stuff that was written thousands of years ago. That was for that time, that that era. We're quite different today. So, yeah, I think this has something to do with that. It's like you know what? I gave my life to this. I wanted to, you know, I believed this, but it wasn't sitting well with me. I was being mistreated. I didn't, all my needs weren't being met. And this is you. You you made a difference you, in your world. You made a decision. It's not for everybody. Like I said, if it has anything to do with religion, I am not picking on religion. I'm not trying to put you down, right? I'm just saying for this person here, this is how they felt, felt okay? Okay. Please, I don't want a discussion on religion. That's the last thing I want. So, High Priestess of Spirit, you're moving on. That's the chariot. That's awareness, taking control of your life, your belief system. Because everybody has the right to believe what they want to believe, right? I'm not saying about certain organized, that's how I believe. It doesn't mean that it's, you know, for all I know, hey, I could be wrong, right? Believe what you want to believe. Okay, I'm not, I'm not here to try to dissuade you. So, yeah, you're moving forward with something. You're leaving something behind. It wasn't for you, okay? The queen of my world, 24. You made a decision. Maybe that's what they called you. The queen of my world. You made a decision that's best for you. You used your higher wisdom. That's the lovers using your higher wisdom. Lovers in the upright and the reverse, okay? It doesn't matter... Upright reverse does not matter. The lovers indicates that no matter what you decide to do, someone's going to get hurt. It's a card of consequence, okay? So you didn't want to hurt this person possibly, but you couldn't live the way you were living anymore. You could not do it anymore. You had to put yourself first, right? So someone's always going to get hurt. So be lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light. Adopt, change, and heal. So you are healing. You're finding who you are. You're finding out who you are. Who you're meant to be, right? Where are you meant to go? Let's see. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. How are we going to end the read for this collective, please? What is the message? What is the parting message for this read? Thank you. Gaia, creation. Okay, creation. Let's see where that goes. What does that say? Gaia. Mm. Do you feel like you're in the middle of a storm with chaos unleashing its fury all around you? It's all too easy to get sucked into dramas and traumas of those around you, whilst others seem to have such high expe ex expectations of you. So as usual, you take care of their needs before considering your own. Time to take accountability for your life and put yourself first. Mother Gaia calls you to manifest all that you wish your life to be and to take care of you. Understand how the elements weave through your daily life and take a good look at everything you have created so far. That's right. Everything that is happening to you at this present moment has been created by your thoughts, words, actions, and feelings. Gaia reveals what lies beneath the surface and reminds you that you have the ability to create or destroy. It's your choice. You are creating a new life for yourself. The foresight here is you're being distracted from your path 
Time to focus on what is truly important to you. Be true to your beliefs and yourself. Don't give in to the demands of others. Set clear boundaries. Be responsible for your actions. Seize the day and create the life you want. So I think that's what you've done, okay? This person you were attached to in the past is trying to make it very difficult on you. you are, uh, maybe the King of Swords is in reverse. It is a narcissist card in tarot, but it could also mean that maybe they're looking at you like you're being non, sorry, non-logical. Oh, she's not, she or he's not thinking clearly. You know what I mean? Like they're doing that, right? But you've got some inspiration somewhere. Oh, yes, you do. And you, and secretly, I think maybe, you, maybe you're watching tarot secretly and it gave you some inspiration and some knowledge, right? You want a new life, resurrection. And you were worried about how that was going to look amongst the people that you were, yeah, it was going to be a loss. You knew it. You're going to face their wrath. They're going to say you were seduced by something, you know, whether it's tarot or another person, right? They're trying to persuade you to come back home, but you're holding true to your integrity. They're in denial. They're trying to deny you a life of, of you, right? Uh, they're trying to deny the life that you want to lead. And that's personal. That's for each and every one of us to decide what kind of life we want. Um, to me, it's a form of slavery if you deny that to somebody. It doesn't matter about religion or, you know, a belief system, how you were raised. It's also some people out there are very controlling, okay? Maybe this has something to do with a controlling person. Um, take it as it applies. It's different for everybody. But they try to control your outcome, your life, what you should eat, where you should go, how your house should look, where, how you should occupy your time on your time off, where you should work. That's slavery, that's control, right? So maybe that's what you're dealing with as well. I don't know. Take it as supplies. I hope this helps, okay? Send you a great deal of healing. Lots of love out there. Congratulations to whomever this is. You are dealing with somebody that's very persuasive, very, very um, controlling. They kept popping up into this read, and I, I didn't want to deal with them today. Sorry, but I think that's your past. You're looking forward. You're looking ahead. You are the queen of your own world, male or female, okay? King or queen of your own world create your new life okay that's what you're here for so until next time please like share and subscribe and until next time take care